Hey guys, how are y'all? Another beer video. I got Sierra Nevada beer today. Bigfoot 2019 version, 9.6%, uh, yep, 9.6% ABV. I do not know the bottle date because I don't think it's on here, but 2019 version. I did a video on the 2018 last year. Don't quite remember what I said, but it is Bigfoot 2019 Barley One if you're not familiar. Oh, and it says right here, I just saw it or found it. Packaged on 12 19 18. So, although it is 2019 version or iteration of the beer, it was bottled on uh, 12 19 18. And today is March 21st, I think. I think it's the 21st, 20th or 21st, something like that. It's Thursday, um, second week or third week of March. So, whatever date fits that, that's today. Um, this, this has been chilling outside for, or outside of the fridge for about uh, roughly five minutes, but it's been sitting in my fridge for about a month, maybe two. Um, just haven't gotten around to it or been drinking too many damn IPAs or, you know, something, something like that. So let's get this into a glass. It looks like, smells like, and tastes like. I don't quite remember what I said about it last time, but I'm sure it was nothing short of uh, a good beer. Uh, let's, let's try to form ahead here. Without pouring too much, I might have poured too much, but yeah, it's good. Uh, I'm gonna say that's about half a finger of just this yellow caramel-like head, man. Probably looks exactly like all the other um, Bigfoots that came before this. Has quite a bit of like variation of bubbles here. So you have extremely, extremely, extremely tiny bubbles, and then you got the medium-sized ones. Uh, you can kind of see there on the camera. But yeah, very, very um, tiny bubbles in there, dissipating moderately quickly, putting it to the light, amber color, uh, putting away from the light, it is still amber, but more brown, I guess, like a deeper, darker brown with slight red halo around it. But putting it to the light, man, it is, yeah, like a reddish amber color. Uh, very clear, maybe slightly murky, orangey. Yeah, looks great. Uh, let's get the aroma. Ooh. Citrus, grapefruit. Some slight pininess just off the bat, man. That grapefruit, citrus note, definitely coming through. Oh yeah. Trying to get that other aroma in there. It kind of smells like caramel, maybe toffee. A little syrupy. It's a little syrupy smelling. Like the sweetness kind of reminds me of I don't know, maple syrup, but not maple. So maple syrup minus the maple. Oh, got a weird whiff of like band-aids for a second. Not used band-aids, just band-aids. Oh, didn't get it again that time, which is great because I don't want to taste or smell band-aids in my beer. Nope, oh, I'm getting it again, band-aids, like this medicinal um, smell to it like a hospital. It's weird. But yeah, that's basically all I'm getting. Band-Aids, hospital, grapefruit, there we go, I just got it again. Grapefruit, citrus, toffee, caramel, some pininess I suppose. Yeah, other than that man, that's all I'm getting. Let's get into the flavor, cheers. Okay, there's definitely hoppiness there on the finish. Very, very hop. I would say very, very. It's it's pretty damn hoppy on the finish. Uh, you get slight. Oh, okay. That's caramel. I'm gonna say caramel and the slight, like very slight. It reminds me of tea, like green herbal tea. Um, caramel and tea, this, or maybe a honey and tea. There we go, honey and tea um, was coming through on that last, very last bit of it. And it's still, the hoppiness is still laying around, but I got like honey tea um, for that split second. It was really nice, man. Yeah, hoppiness for sure. Definitely, I'm gonna say from the middle, 
to the, all the way to the finish and even 10 seconds after the finish, hoppiness all the way through, lingers, um, some very, very strong pithy notes too is following that. And that tea, that tea, sweet tea, honey flavor note coming through. Very nice, very nice. But up front, I would say it's starting to get even hoppier, man. As I'm drinking this, the bitterness is just totally steamrolling over my palate. It is crazy. Oh yeah, definitely getting way, way hoppier. So every sip is what I'm noticing. That first sip was like, oh wow, this is like really complex. This is crazy. There's so much going on. What exactly is happening? You take a second sip, you're like, holy shit, it is bitter as hell. Um, which I like, I'm not complaining at all. And then the third sip, trying to get everything else, you're like, holy shit, it's even bitter, more bitter this time. And yeah, if you take an inhale through your uh, mouth, it, that bitterness comes back, it's crazy, man. And it's, I'm gonna say, it's, let me take another sip if I say this. Okay, I take that back. That honey flavor, it definitely lingers around a little bit. It's, I wouldn't say it's sticky, or like, le it leaves a very, very, very thin film in your mouth as you're swallowing. That's when I get that honey, at least. It leaves a very, very thin film, which carries on into that tea, um, honey tea flavor that I was talking about earlier. But that bitterness, man, it is just steamrolling the shit out of all these other flavors. Um, not in a bad way, or maybe in a bad way, I don't know. I kind of like it, um, but a little slight, a little bit more of that honey sweetness or some kind of maltiness, uh, sweetness just coming, you know, if that, or not coming through, if that came through a little bit stronger, I feel like it would better balance this beer and it wouldn't just be like a huge ass bottle of bitterness. Um, not a huge ass bottle, it's only 12 ounces. Uh, a bottle of bitterness. Um, I feel like this beer is complex. Uh, there's a lot going on. You get, a, like every sip is different because the bitterness kind of alters, it changes. Um, like I was mentioning after the third sip, I'm like, holy shit, dude, this is extremely bitter. And then this last sip or two, it was just, okay, wow, that tunny is coming through again, that tea's come in. Um, not a whole lot of citrus, but you definitely get pithiness from, I would say, orange peels and grapefruit and just every sip is kind of different. And that one was not as bitter. Bitter is still there, but it wasn't as bitter and I got slightly more caramel. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting beer. Much like I'm sure last year I said something very similar to this. Maybe Maybe I didn't say it was bitter as shit. Maybe I did, I don't remember. Um, yeah, it's just, I'm gonna let this chill. I'm gonna let this chill for, you know, another 10 minutes to sip on it slowly, see how it opens up, see how it develops. I feel like it's gonna get more sweet and uh, that sweetness is just gonna kinda balance out that bitterness a little bit. It, uh, it won't completely balance it. I don't think it will because it is extremely bitter, but I think it'll taste a lot better as it warms up. I was about to say cool down. Um, as it warms up, it'll, I, I feel like it'll taste better. Not that it's a bad beer now. Definitely try it, pick it up. I still have a few bottles, 2018, just chilling in my closet, excuse me, in a box, you know, that I put beers in that I wanna forget. And every now and then when I'm putting other beers in there, I just wanna check my stock. I'll go there, I was like, holy shit, I don't feel this. I didn't know that. I either drink it or I won't, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, man, Sierra Nevada's, uh, Bigfoot Barley Wine, 9.6% ABV. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments down below, subscribe for more videos, and as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching, cheers.